my name is Martina Spada. I am a poet. I've just published a collection of poems called Vivas to Those Who Have Failed. For my father, art and activism were inseparable from the very beginning. Um, photography um, and the movement were inseparable. My poems reflect his photography uh, in several different ways. He was a direct influence on me, artistically and politically. Uh, I can remember these images hanging on the walls of our apartment and therefore on the walls of my imagination. And what I hope to do with my poetry, um, so much inspired and influenced by my father, and what my father's photographs still do, would be to make the invisible visible. Uh, I consider that a mission of mine, and I learned it from him. Frank Espada was um, a civil rights activist, a community organizer, a leader, some would say the leader of the Puerto Rican community in New York City during the 1960s and 1970s. He was also uh, the founder and director of something called the Puerto Rican Diaspora Documentary Project, a photo documentary and oral history of the Puerto Rican migration. My father died in 2014. And here we are two years later. Uh, this book has come out and it includes a cycle of 10 poems about my father's many lives, uh, his various deaths, and his ultimate rebirth. Uh, my father lives through uh, the poetry, but even more uh, urgently, even more passionately, he lives through the photography. My father spoke at a rally with Malcolm X in New York City uh, at the end of 1964. My father intended to photograph Malcolm and discovered to his horror that one of his friends had walked off with his camera, which my father had handed off when it was his turn to speak. At the last possible moment, he located his friend who had been merrily snapping pictures of the crowd. Uh, my father discovered that there were exactly two shots left on the roll. It turned out that he captured the single most iconic image of his career, a photograph of Malcolm X as he inclined ever so slightly to hear a question uh, from someone in the audience. Um, that photograph, indeed, uh, became his most popular and uh, most celebrated uh, photograph. Uh, ironically enough, Malcolm would be assassinated only a couple of months later uh, at the beginning of 1965.